Hey guys, this is Spade Master. Welcome to another thoughts on. Now, actually, now I actually asked on Twitter, um, what, what 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 do people want me to make a thoughts on of, and it took out a really good response. For example, Death wanted me to do the Monster Hunter demo, which is what I'm gonna do today, and uh, him. Uh, I have some words to say about him, but I'm not going to. Uh, TK wants to talk about Katara Shoujo, but since I'm pretty, I'm pretty like 97% sure you have no idea what Katara Shoujo is, I'm probably not going to talk about it, or at least not in depth. And then Dak, which is like uh, the the person I fought back in, um, you know, Smash Online was it 104? Uh, he talk, he wants me to talk about then uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D and new Fire Emblem. However, I t I specifically told them that I'm not going to talk about Xenoblade because everyone. You probably but knows by now that I don't like Xenoblade, so I really don't want to tell that say that again. And as for Fire Emblem, eh, I want more details than that before I can make a decision. And then, there, and then there's Andreas who who actually has some real elaborate stuff for me for me to do. For example, comparing the fairy type to the dark type, and then stuff about games that have been easier in difficulty. I don't know if I'm gonna make those, but uh, we'll just see down the line. So anyway, uh, let's do. Uh, Let's talk about this today's topic, which is the Monster Hunter, and uh, you know how hyped I am for this game. Essentially, based on the demo I played. Now, the demo I played. Okay. Now it's I don't know how long it's been since I last played Monster Hunter. It's been like several months. I I, I don't remember even playing at all. 2014. <laughs> that that that's how much I, I I have not been playing Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I don't know, mostly because there are a lot of other games that I would I was just playing. Example. Pikmin 3, and Mario Kart 8, and Smash, and Smash, and Fantasy Life, that sort of thing. So, I pushed all but stopped playing uh, Monster Hunter. But, what better way to get back a Monster Hunter than with a new game, right? Now, I as of this video, I have none of the money to get Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate for 3DS. But, out of the, from the demo I played, I actually did like it. Uh... Funny story, actually. Now, um, okay, let's just say this. So I was going to go, I was going to classes um, on the evening one day, and well, this was a time which the train system was not working so well due to so much snow. So, and I was playing like the hardest boss in the demo using my wing up in the bow. But then, due to all the ins in t the insanities of the train, how it, I had to skip two trains for just to, you know, get a spot in the tra in, in, in a, a train car because it was so full. And I end up losing to the 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 the, the, bo the hard boss, so I get disappointed. Doesn't help that I got, I came like like forty minutes late to class, but that's the, that's another story. But whatever. So late. So uh, a few days later, I tried it again. You know, tried to beat the the hard boss with the bow, and I won. So, yeah, that's a kind of weird story. Uh, but yeah, I actually really like to get back to Monster Hunter. However, once I get the money, I would like to play Monster Hunter. Will I make videos for Monster Hunter? I really want to. But, um, and maybe if Kagoda doesn't, you know, turn down, take down the servers of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate like they usually do. Uh, but uh, we'll see about that. Uh, but yeah, I like to get back to Monster Hunter, uh, especially considering that in in three Ultimate, I still have not gone to Hunter Rank Eight, or if, yeah, pretty sure I'm not going to Hunter Rank Eight yet. Uh, that sort of thing. Uh, what do I think about the new weapons? The the insect glaive I thought would be really interesting, but I don't know. I just didn't get used to it. It's just not apparently not my kind of weapon. I had I had like a lot of difficulty with it. And with the charge blade, the charge blade's pretty fun. However, again, it was quite confusing. Like uh, I tried a few times with the charge blade, but I got con I was confused, so I, I was not entirely what to do. Well, with the charge blade, I was a little more used to the switch axe, and I thought the charge blade would be more similar to the switch axe, but it isn't. It's like totally different mechanics. But uh, out of the two new weapons, I do prefer the the charge blade more than the insect glaive. Even though, you well, know, I actually did like uh, my, uh, that that one insect uh, insect based uh, gear in Monster Three Ultimate, what I called Bugman. It was awesome, but I don't think that I'll I'll get used to the insect flavor anytime soon. Uh, 
but uh, but uh, out of what I play, I am still the best at the bow. I'm still really good at the uh, light bow gun, the switch axe, the the dual blades, especially dual blades. Always are insane. Are it's still insane. I think I I think I uh, I will play, play, play against the great jaggy. I think I took the fastest to beat it with the dual blades. I think that and the hammer. <laughs> it's kind of funny, like when I was like la la the last time I was I played it uh, as of this video, I was playing, I was playing with the hammer because uh, I wasn't sure like what what did the hammer do again? Oh right, you can charge your head while moving. Right, it was um kind of a weird experience, like a thing of a hammer. I think the only uh, let's see, um, I think the, the only ones I have not played in demo are the lance, the and the gun lance. I think it's just those two. I don't. Oh, and the hunting horn. Uh, just those three that. Have, even touched in the in the demo. Oh, and and then the heavy bow gun. But I really want to try that soon. So that's uh that's it. Cause I really hate the lance and the gun lance. Uh, I sort of don't like the heavy bow gun anymore. But uh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, will I get back to Monster Hunter once I get Monster Hunter? Definitely. Cause believe it or not, when um. You know, once I you know played um you know the Wii the Wii U version of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, I actually kind of missed playing the three the 3DS version because I played the 3DS demo, not the Wii U demo. I actually kind of miss uh, playing on the 3DS because uh, I don't know. I just feel like stuff something like Monster Hunter would be really good for for like long trips out like when you're out out the house when going on a train ride. That's like the perfect time to be Monster Hunter. Because lately, when I was taking a train, it usually takes me a 15-minute ride to get from uh, the train station nearest my house to, to the train station nearest to my college. Uh, and in it, I lately have been playing nothing but the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate demo. Because it just feels like it's, you know, good enough time to actually play that. But yeah, I actually am really, really hopeful for that. Uh, about and okay, so I guess we're about that. Uh, there's not really much else to say, but uh, let's talk about the new 3DS for a while. Um, one, why the heck is just the XL version? I know, like, um, I assume it's because um, Nintendo America thinks that people are just gonna buy the XL version because um, it fit. It's it's brought off with people with giant hands, even though the buttons aren't now much aren't really different. Just like the thing is bigger, and the screen's bigger, and they think they, they they think bigger is better. Although the ca although the real big catch is that to because um, the U.S. is only getting the uh, the Excel version, we won't be getting the re the, re the standard size version. And the standard size version has a huge advantage over the Excel version. And while it's not while it's not battery, it, it's the um, the face plates because I mean, literally literally customize 3ds. And you know how people. Who have smartphones like the custom like the customize like what they put on like 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 custom cases and custom wallpapers. That would have been perfect for that. However, Tell America said in maybe we'll we'll consider getting the standard size version, but for now just get the XL version. That's because the, they think that's what the, that's what everyone would want. So, what I get the XL version? My answer is I don't know. Cause I, I I'm actually not interested in getting the XL version right away, even though it would benefit me playing playing let's say Kid Icarus or Smash. Heck, especially especially with Smash with the uh, 3DS version, um, just amiibo farming like I always like I do in my, in um the Wii U version. Cause the Wii U version of Smash is just amiibo farm. I just put my amiibo, let them fight each other for 60 minute intervals. Or 99 stock intervals depending on what or depending on what I feel like should be a good time for it. Um, and then just get get the rewards from them. Get thousands of coins out of like several thousands of coins every hour. So also it makes it a bit easier to get custom moves because I I do occasionally get at least one custom move per session per like session various hour sessions. Uh, but in the 3DS version, since I'm lacking in coins, and I might as well just go for that too. What's if I get a new 3DS? But uh. But for me, I would probably prefer the standard size, mostly due to the faceplates, so I can customize faceplates. Uh, so considering <laughs> John Conroy is really, you know, sad because he won't be getting the Xenoblade base faceplates. <laughs> oh, here we're talking about Xenoblade again. 
Um, I got nothing else more to say. It's I, I got I push I push we're done with that. So yeah, Monster Hunter Fortsmith. I really want to play that. How I don't have the money for it. Once I do, I'll play the I'll probably play 300 hours of it like I did with the, with the Monster Hunter Ultimate Wii U version. Anyway, I got nothing else to say. So see you guys later.